I'm curious as to whether Mark's been investing in these Chinese IPOs. So let's pitch that question to Mark Farber, who is still around the set. He is, of course, the editor and publisher of the Gloom, Boom and Doom Report. Mark, China wants the cash for its banks to uh, recapitalize just in case there's a bunch of bad loans coming. We've also been talking about the strong consumer growing society in China. Are you prepared to fund these banks in these IPOs? Well, I'm not so keen on Chinese companies, and I'd rather play China through other means, such as, say, a play on commodities or uh, companies that do business with China or export to China or currencies that benefit from Chinese growth and so forth. So I'm not a great investor in China. But I have to say this, in China and in the whole world, what you have is in some sectors of the economy, you have deflationary pressures. Like in the Western world, in Western Europe and in the US, wages simply aren't going to go up a lot because they're very high compared to, say, wages here in Asia, India, uh, China, and so forth. So in the Western world, you have some deflationary pressures, but not deflationary pressures in taxation. Taxation is always going up, and healthcare cost is going up, and also, obviously, the deficits will go up, and therefore the currencies will, in time, depreciate relative to the Asian currencies. In Asia, on the other hand, you have a whole new middle class coming up. You have demand emerging that wasn't there before in India and in China and so forth. So you have some sectors of the economy where you have actually quite a lot of inflation. And Bernie before, he was saying, oh, do you belong to the people who believe in inflation? I'd just like to ask Bernie, what do you think about the cost of living in Hong Kong? Is it higher than 10 years ago or lower? How about you, mm -hmm. Karen, here in Singapore? Do you think the cost of living is higher today than 10 years ago? Of course, it is much, it's much higher. Yeah. And I don't see mm -hmm. where you can come in and say there is deflation in the system. Everything I have to buy, maybe I'm a bad buyer of goods, but everything I buy is always more expensive those than it was a year ago. Are, what? Those Gucci sunglasses are way dearer <laughs> 10 years on than what they were 10 years ago, especially in your market, Bernie, in Hong Kong. And now I can't even yeah. afford to buy a Picasso painting. Well, Mark, I shed a I tear for you. I'm so sorry. sorry. We have to ask <laughs> the government in the U.S. that Obama... Uh -huh. Since he's such a great mm. socialist, he should allow everybody in the whole world to buy a Picasso mm -hmm. and Warhol painting. That's right. That's right. We should spread the wealth. Yeah, we should yeah. definitely spread the wealth like the commander <laughs> has said. The problem is, you see, the, but the, Hong Kong is weird, though. You know, you know that, Mark. I mean, you've lived here. This has been your home for I don't know how many, 20 years. Uh, you know, we outsource our monetary policy. You know, I, I, I've got a mortgage uh, that cost me 85 basis points. When inflation, okay, the government says it's what, I don't remember, three uh, something, four percent. I swear it's eight percent, okay, because the government lies a lot. But I mean, I mean, I, I, the, the money's too cheap here. Why do you think the property market went the way, it, what, the, the way it did? Why do you think the government clamped down or tried to clamp down on speculation only to start shooting itself in the foot last week by raising the down payment on mid tier? Properties. I mean, governments are the biggest culprit in this whole ongoing aftermath of the global financial crisis, aren't they? Yes, whereby I have to say that, of course, I'm the most anti-government person you can imagine. Ooh. But when I look at the Hong here, Kong here. government and when I look at the Singapore government, they are much, much better than what we have in the Western world because their house is still halfway in order and we don't have the unfunded liabilities they have in the Western world. So I think that we are yeah. actually lucky, and this is one reason the price level in Singapore and Hong Kong will go up, because people in the Western world, they will say bye-bye London, bye-bye American passport uh -huh. under Mr. Obama, uh -huh. and they will come to Asia. And so the price level I'm here will this. go up. You still have to pay I can't your taxes if you got that green card. Well, <laughs> but, here, but in Hong Kong and You're in saying Singapore... Hong Kong is better than the West. So you're saying impotence is preferable to activism. That's what you're saying, doctor. <laughs> yes, I'm an activist. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, let's take a break and get to some corporate stories. <laughs> Bernie. Yes, let's. <laughs>